Hey fellow Stock Guardians, happy Monday, August 2nd, 2021. I'm Hoda, Stock Guard CEO, reporting to you from a barely mixed stock market. I looked at today's mostly red market and discussed an interesting analysis about the correlation between the price to sales ratio and a stock's return. I also covered Square's acquisition of Afterpay and how the news impacted global payments stock price. Let's get started. The stock market ended with mixed indices today, if only barely. The S&P 500 and the Dow Jones took a fall while the Nasdaq managed to stay just above the green line. With the 10-year Treasury yield drop and the rising number of COVID cases, the market's lukewarm start to the week isn't unexpected. But let's talk about something else today. Professor Galloway is one of the smart folks I like to follow. He sent out a chart today that grabbed my attention. He looked at the price to sales ratio of companies and their stocks price return in one quarter to five years. The results are quite interesting. If you are the holder of a company with a price to sales ratio above 15, you would have lost money over two year, three year, four year, and five year periods. Of course, this is based on historical data between 1970 and 2020, and things can change, but the conclusion is that a high price to sales ratio may indicate the market's overexcitement about the company. Let's hear it from Professor Galloway first. Chart of the week. This just absolutely blew our mind. From 1970 to 2020, so 50 years, stocks trading at 15 plus sales. That is companies that had exceptional valuations trading at not 15 times EBITDA, but 15 times or greater than 15 times sales had three and five year returns of an average minus 18% and minus 28% respectively. Or put another way, momentum trades are great until you hit that level and then look out below. All right. And as you may know, on a stock card, you can click on the fair price section on any of a stock card and go to the valuation multiples and get the stock's price to sales ratio. For example, Amazon's Price to sales ratio is around four and a half, and a square's price to sales ratio is about nine and a half at this point. Before we dive into the acquisition news today, let me thank you for being a Stock Guardian, watching, reading, and listening to the daily roll episodes, and using a Stock Cards platform in your research are the highlights of our company's success. Thank you for being a Stock Guardian. If you aren't a Stock Guardian yet, I'd like to invite you to try now. First, hit the like button and subscribe to the show, and then create a free account on a StockCard.io. Thanks for becoming a new Stock Guardian. You can find Afterpay, ticker AFTPF, on the winners list on StockCard today, as share prices were up almost 30% by closing time. The company announced today that Square is acquiring it. Square also saw a jump in price, gaining over 10% by closing time. Afterpay is the pioneer of digital buy now pay later programs for retailers. We discussed this model when a rumor began spreading that Apple was possibly going to enter the same space. It seems Square is taking advantage of this lower price caused by Apple's rumor to grow its user base, expand its offering, and keep its users engaged. Square wants to be the preferred financial institution for the younger generation. That means gaining users and engaging them by all means necessary to compete with traditional banks and even fight with big tech like Apple entering the financial space. To me, this is another confirmation and reason to invest in a Square when you can. Taking a glance at the company's stock card, it is killing it with sales growth and profitability. I own shares and I'll keep buying if I can. As they say, one person's happiness is another's misery or something like that. Afterpaid's good news turned out to be bad news for global payments, ticker GPN, who landed on a stock card's losers list today. The company provides payment processing for small and medium-sized businesses. 
It was expecting a great day after releasing its earnings report, detailing a 56% increase in earnings per share thanks to its overseas partnerships and increased profitability. After Pay's acquisition news spooked investors who are wary of competition, the stock dropped by 11%. The good news is global payments to stock card is still looking great. It's a three greener with a lot of growth opportunities and strong profitability. The company also generates free cash flow and even before today's price drop, it was fairly priced. The attention to growth in European market that the company references in its earnings report is one reason why this may be a dip worth buying. This is certainly an interesting company to pay attention to. Okay, today I want to introduce you to Janie Clay, founder of Wealthy Nurse Janie and the featured investor of the week. Janie runs two portfolios on the stock card her dividend and value portfolio, and her higher risk portfolio. I'm so impressed by her return, but also by her superwoman powers. She's a nurse, as you can guess from her name, a mom, an avid investor, and she's quite active on TikTok. I'll leave a link to my conversation with Janie. I would highly recommend looking her up on Stockcard's stock pick page and following her portfolios to get notified when she adds new stocks to her portfolio. That's it for today. If you haven't already done so, please give a stock card a try, research as many stocks and ETFs as you want, and consider following a few successful investors by visiting the stock picks page on a stock card platform. Don't forget to sign up for a 14-day free trial with promo code Roll with our CEO, all lowercase and in one word. Like, subscribe, and share these daily market recap reports with your fellow investors. Come back tomorrow for another episode. I'll see you then.